All right, this is an instructional video on how to install a brand new day, both for the basic Windows installation and the Steam installation. First, we're going to go with the basic Windows installation. Here I have the basic win Windows installation on the C drive right here. Here we have the zip file. I'm just going to use basic Windows and right click and open with Windows Explorer. You're going to see all these files right here. You're just going to select all the files. You do copy, then go back one directory. You go to the game folder called game. Not this one, this one. Right click, paste. And that should about do it. If you have patch, 20 or lower, you want to make sure to delete all these RPYC files as I change the naming convention and it will cause some issues. If you're 21 and above for the patches, you should be fine. All you should have to do is overwrite and you should be set. Same goes for the Steam version. For the Steam version, you're going to do the same thing. Right click, open with Windows Explorer or double click if you have Windows Explorer as a default. Select all the files again, right click, copy, go back, go back into the game folder, right click, paste. You typically just overwrite if you're going from a different version to the newer version. And in Steam, it's going to be located in the C or D, whichever drive, Program Files, x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Doki Doki Literature Club, Slash Game. If you installed another mod, if you get, for example, an MC underscore scream, that means you have somebody else's mod installed and you'll have to do a repair install or whatnot in order to get that fixed. Typically, all you have to do is, now that you have this done, just have to run the EXE. This is a standalone version that you could download from the uh, website. And it should just work. This is a fresh install, fresh files. I do full screen. And it, as you can tell, if you have this music, the mod's installed. And you got this as well. pretty much explains it as well. So that worked on the standalone version. Let's test the Steam install. Steam is sometimes tricky. Steam will sometimes act up. So here's some little tricks. S is for screenshot, F is for full screen. If you need to get out of the game really quick, Alt F4. Just for you to know, uh, eventually when I have time, I'll do an OS X install too. OS X, Mac OS, I mean. It's pretty much the same thing. All you have to do is just put it in the same game subfolder that's created on the same installer for Mac OS. And that's pretty much it. If you have any other questions, just put any comments on the YouTube video or hit me up on Reddit or reach me out on the Discord channel for a brand new day. Thanks for watching.